<laughs> so this poem I'm going to do is called Kanto, which is a real word. It's not, it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's a set of seven cantos about being a dyke, so I called them contos, because I didn't expect what happened. I didn't, I didn't think anybody would ever hear it, so it's slightly embarrassing. <laughs> Literally go around the world going, yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> And it came out of a commission from Apples and Snakes, who are a big performance poetry agency based in London, longest one going in the whole of the UK. And they were doing the 35-year anniversary, which is an amazing show called Rally and Cry, which is based on the politics at the heart of what we all do. Politics at the heart of spoken word. And they gave me a word, and the word was protest. And this is what I wrote. So I said this in seven cantos. I want you to imagine that it's set in a boxing ring, roped off with barbed wire. This is true, because I actually did this. I'm wearing a little pair of white boxer shorts, a little white vest, like, fabulous. And then, in the other corner, I'm 55, I was loving it. So, just a natural physique for a boxer, I like to think. And then in the other corner was my three-piece suit, and throughout it, I got dressed. Right, so it begins like this. Some girls fall from sunlit skies straight down into flat pack floral dresses, grab their smiles from a hook behind the door, rescue their faces from riptides of mirrors. Some girls are always falling. Round one. The body as battleground. You fall and miss your body entirely. Land somewhere in enemy territory behind the lines. Your body, a foreign country you cannot get a visa for. Your skin, a parachute caught in tree branches. You awaken in no man's land. Gun fire from over the horizon and women are crucified on hashtags across the dark hills. Your trench is crowded with dead women, wearing faces that try to escape them, and the clothes of someone you once knew. There are landmines buried deep beneath your skin, and no one understands them. In between the battle cry, and the bedroom is this sticky, quiet, this no man's land. And this is where you live. Men explode when you least expect it. All these lifetimes searching for body. Round two. The body as protest. Born backward, bright back, wide skin rolling, cigarettes and shirt sleeves, skyline chin, Levi 501s curled up to cough, lip the same, white t shirt so they can project themselves on you, tsunami quiff, and black boots whose roots spread and tangle to the centre of the earth. You don't wear makeup to prove have not made anything up. This is your face. Your father's friends gave it to you. One Christmas Eve, 1973, you unwrapped it from beneath a decorated tree from which the rest of your family hung. They sipped cocktails as you slowly disappeared, swaying gently to that wail of celebration, the harbinger of party. You cut your first suit from the thick silence when you enter a room. They call you Butch, the name derived from Butch Cassidy. You are the descendant of outlaws, irony incarnate, woman butchered, Cut into select meats, middle distance stare, shoulder, breast, wild tongue. 
they fear you. Boy Bar Dyke, Diesel Female Sodomite, Lady Faggot Bull Dyke, Bull Dagger Queer Pervert, Gold Star Silverback Stunt Inver, Kiki Shemale Drag Clone, Baby Butch Tomboy, Stone. But if you are a stone, you are a chip off the mountain. And you join an avalanche of wrong walking women, shaven heads like tumbling rocks. You keep them close, they are. Rosary. On the dance floor, we are tidal, heckle the night, passing nods between us and handshakes that stop our hands shaking. We are un. A wilderness of women We are waste ground What a waste, love Nothing grows on us Barren and sterile And unuseful female Empty as church pews The wind rattles Its fists inside our wounds Come on then, snake boy Come now, heretic healer Where are the maths that solve us? How do we fit into your algebra, your binary code? Our bodies are political placards. And we dance as demonstration of independence. We revolution in the living room, uprising in the public toilets, insurgency in the suburbs. Fear us! Fear is a girl backing into her face. Is it, is it not camp enough to be your best friend? Our closet, a strata of fossilized clothes, girl pelt. Is it not funny enough for your talk show, bruv? Is it that a woman without makeup is a woman without a face? How were we to know that when we were cleansing, we were erasing our whole existence? Round three. The body. <laughs> Round three. The body as protest. You are a trespasser in your own body. The landowners are men who pass by you in the street. In Accrington, cars stammer and words ejaculate through slit windows. Your mother's phone rings in the middle of the night. Shh, do you know, shh, do you know about, shh, do you know about your daughter? Three Pentecosts with Nazi insignia break into your home. God is an atheist who no longer believes in himself. And they unscrew the light bulb, slowly eyes fixed on the unmade up girl, trembling defiance, they whisper a prayer for you to leave your family. You do. 30. And a man pulls you over the back seat of a bus and stubs his kiss out on your cheek slowly and boxers embrace but he doesn't throw the punch he posts it you wait by letterboxes flinch when it chatters never answer the phone in Brixton Men cradle their fists like babies and watch as you walk past as though they are thin ribbed cats in the undergrowth and you, a small shaven headed bird. There's a reason women are compared to birds and it's got fuck all to do with wings. Some songs harden on the wind. Some girls are kept in gilded cages on suburban mantle pieces. 18! Out, clubbing with the crew, a baby butch in the abattoir of beauty, the quiver and frantic, white girls with bindies, white boys with dreadlocks, <laughs> saris and docks tribal tattoos. We are the modern primitives wearing our heritage like red flags, like cowardice, and you dance as though you are stamping out flames. As though your boots 
a hammering in the necklace nails to the coffin of the old gods. Strangers hug and tell each other secrets. You are ecstatic. But then the light looks away. Skinny wolves separate you from the flock. Wallpaper, the drugs no longer working as they amber eye you. Aberration, and they must conquer what they cannot name. 23. You finish rehearsals in the city with nowhere to sleep. So you wish the posh kids good night. And you walk, 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 and he finds you quickly, and when you come round, you are empty, and his eyes are full, and above you, twin gods, this is the first time you think you're going to be killed, and when you're not, it's a disappointment. The morning after pill is a communion wafer and you are forgiven your trespasses you learn quickly. Men are broken things, breaking things. Round four. The body has cemetery. The first time you die. You drink a bottle of cleaning fluid and moths of nurses wrap you in white swaddling curses. Fuck you, they whisper as you're interred into your hospital bed. Fuck you, they croon. And when the mourners come, they seem happy. A picnic in a mortuary. The third time you die, it's classic, cinematic. A bottle of your mother's sleeping pills, you swallow them without water. Watching a film about a girl who is not loved, the film ends, the cinema empties. But no one notices the thin thing lying there, mouth like an earthquake in a country no one can spell. They don't find it till morning, and when they do, you are packed off to the fat priests of psychiatry to apologise. You lie. And your smile is a torn cunt, a split. Round five. The body as backroom. Each night we have a lock in and meet at the back of my heart, smoking in circles, handing grins to each other like pass the parcel, opening each layer of the smile until the pith is revealed. We are ferocious women, eating our children, our youth, stepping out of our skins and leaving them draped behind us like soiled wedding dresses. We die slowly. Cigarettes stubbed by obsidian skies. A brain explodes into night butterflies. A car loses its grip on reality. Suicides by the bouquet fool. Not one of my friends was allowed to live in her body unaccompanied, always a landlord, always a lodger. Round six, the body has haunted house. In sleep, my body's a haunted house. There are footsteps along fallopian corridors. The corridor is a rope strung above a mouth that have been Woken by blurred voices without bodies, quiet arguments in my basement. Once I was possessed by a small girl who looked the same as me, who ate herself on a Sunday afternoon while her parents were downstairs hardwiring their hangovers and Christmas tunes looped in nooses. My heart is a church bell and no 
body visit and God is a man with his hands in his pocket watching round seven the body as uprising ah oh you bayonet boys you touch and rub my face doesn't fit my face but your fist does years from now no one will remember how we fought how each bruised knuckle was a white boy's head bent in prayer no one will remember the love how alike it is to rage how screams made corporeal or rainbows or how rainbows became corporate logos did we carve our epitaphs into a stone wall no one Remember, I'm the picking acronyms by candlelight, so fuck it. I'll be in the back bar of heaven. Cass, we'll be getting around in his bed and releasing that laugh while birds escaping her mouth, and none of this will matter. I'll be riding the ghost road to Valentine, bareback. Knee clench on her Harley I'll be scoffing the city with Dudzilly Men will stare like open shaft mines I'll be walking the white lines <laughs> With angel, tight mouth, antelope heart Kaz Johnson, B. Gittins, Avi Cummins, Sam Sylvan, Tony Macaroni I can't remember the names of all my dead friends, but they're here now. Our grief, a leather jacket, our laughter, static, as we fade to a sepia, the colour of blood mixed to water, Disappearing down a plug hole, much like the meeting of our legs. Remember this, my whole life is a protest. Thank you so much, Dumfries. Big up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Abe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you wanna go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help guys and hopefully we'll see you again soon.